Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Star Trek Voyager Season 2, Episode 17, Dreadnought. This one was not a good episode for me, at least. Like, I just didn't really appreciate the storyline. It was really slow, it was really drawn out. Um, to be honest with you, the most interesting aspect to me was kind of one of the beginning scenes where uh, Ensign Wildman goes to the doctor for a checkup because she's pregnant. And again, like, I have so many memories of, like, Naomi and stuff. Um where I think this is the first episode, because she mentioned how her husband was stationed on Deep Space Nine. Um, I believe this is the first time where she mentions that her husband is not human, where he's a Katarian, I believe. Um, and to be honest, I didn't, I don't think I've ever heard that name, like, species mentioned before, so I had to look it up. And sure enough, they are mentioned in The Next Generation and Scene, and they're in Deep Space Nine. Uh, and I was like, oh, well, it must just be one of those species, like, I completely just didn't pay attention to. So that's kind of interesting. Um, some of this episode is Paris just getting completely out of control where, like I said in the last episode, he's starting to have more altercations with Chakotay and he's just like, he's not taking care of his appearance. He just looks like he rolled out of bed and it's just not that great of a, he's, he's just not doing very good. Um, and the most of this episode, the meat of it, is all about them finding a, a, me, a missile that's heading towards this planet. And it is a Cardassian missile that was acquired by the Maquis. And Balana actually reprogrammed it. So it like speaks with her voice and stuff. And they're trying to figure out a way to like stop it from killing all of these people. And Balana kind of beams aboard the missile and is talking to it and it's like no like i we're still in the alpha quadrant the chances of us being in the delta quadrant are like knowledgeable it's it's a lie you're just trying to deceive me and balan is just trying to uh basically deactivate this this missile uh at one point janeway even sets the auto destruct on voyager which i think is really interesting because i pointed it out when the original series did that and how it took like three people and then i pointed it out when the next generation did it and it took i think at least two people maybe three people i already forgot um but in voyager like it's just janeway like there's no other commands or anything like just janeway sets the auto the self-destruct so i thought it was kind of cool and uh for the most part yeah it's just balana talking to this missile and by the time we get to the end of the episode like i've stopped caring like i just it was so long and it was so drawn out and i just i couldn't really get into this episode so for those who have seen this one what did you guys think about it what did you think about the katarians like do you guys remember seeing those from previous series and previous episodes what do you think about the whole paris chakotay thing and what what do you think about janeway setting the self-destruct and then what do you guys think about balana and the missile Go ahead, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for everything, and I will see you guys next time for Death Wish.